Well, it was a long, hard-fought victory, but we finally got that tree for Anthony Huber. Uh, this memorial tree will uh, commemorate his life uh, there in Kenosha. If you recall, Kyle Rittenhouse shot Anthony Huber uh, during that night in Kenosha about two years ago. So we're going to read this story here today. It looks like they're going to vote on this uh, tonight. And uh, if Anthony Huber's lucky, uh, he'll get that tree. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brainwaves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. There's Anthony with the uh, various mug shots he had compiled over the years. Uh, you'll notice he has changed his persona and uh, that was to sort of blend in with whatever lifestyle he was undergoing at the time. So on the uh, upper left, uh, you can see him and during his uh, grandma beating days. Uh, later, he went on um, the uh, butcher knife to his brother uh, period, and that, uh, for that he changed his hairstyle. So you can see it's purple here, it's kind of weird looking there, and then uh, it looks like it's kind of red there. So, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, read the story. The career violent criminal and felon, Anthony Huber, might have a memorial tree planted and plaque installed at Kenosha's Anderson Park. That is, if the All-Democrat Parks Committee approves the request at least, with at least three votes. The request was made on April 5, 2022, by Huber's girlfriend, Hannah Giddings, who lives in Spring Grove, Illinois. We've all seen the photos and videos. While Kyle was running towards police, violent protesters attacked. One man drop-kicked Kyle. Huber struck Kyle in his head with the skateboard. Now, I know that they're only planting a tree, but I think he deserves a statue. So, throughout this uh, article here, Maybe if you could come up with some ideas of what the uh, the statue would depict, that would really help. So, for example, here, uh, you could have the statue swinging a skateboard into the back of some kid's head. Anthony Huber lived a life of severe violence and crime. He was given several chances in life to change course. With his most serious conviction, the judge showed him some undeserved mercy and sentenced him to probation. He later had his probation revoked and went to prison for new crimes. In 2012, Huber held a six-inch long butcher knife to his brother's neck and violently attacked him. He told his brother he was going to gut him like a pig. Well, there you go. Uh, you could have a, a statue showing him uh, with a butcher knife. It'll work. He then stabbed him in the ear. He then threatened to burn the house down and kill his mother, grandmother, and siblings. So you could have like a, a gas can and a lighter and he's walking uh, along a road, could be part of it, or maybe just a flamethrower. In 2017, Huber was in an argument with his sister. His mother called the police and told them that Huber has a history of abusive behavior. He karate kicked her and she fell down in pain. Now, if you get the box top for, like, the Karate Kid, you've got a lot of great poses you can use for the statue. He told the police that it wasn't wrong to hurt his sister. You know, I'm thinking the old TV show Kung Fu would have some good examples. I'm making even give him that really long pole uh, that uh, the dude, I don't even know his name, uh, walked around with. So here's a list of his uh, transgressions. They go back a ways. Uh, for example, 2017, domestic battery repeater, domestic disorderly conduct repeater, uh, resisting an officer. Well, there you go. There's some great statues you could have of him, of him trying to uh, get away from the officer or something like that. So here are the five uh, people on the committee. The Parks Committee meets tonight, Monday, April 25th, 2022, at 5 p.m. The Park Committee is chaired by Eric Haggard, Democrat, and the panel is expected to pass the measure. The other aldermen on the committee are Jan Mikalski, Democrat, 
Roland Pizzala, Democrat, Kelly Mackey, Democrat, probably Mackey, and Rocco Lamashia, Democrat. Rocco Lamashia? I think I'd vote for him out of fear. Now, I have a question. Are Republicans allowed to actually run for this office? All five of these aldermen ran unopposed this past April. I guess not. <laughs> uh, and here's the tree. Um, this is filed by Hannah Giddings, and she wants a flowering dogwood. So maybe if you could come up with some better trees for her, uh, that would be representative more of his life. Post it in the comments below. And uh, here's the location. Now, I'm not that familiar with Kenosha, but um, it seems like, well, let me ask you this. If you're going to plant a tree in memory of Anthony Huber, where would you put it? I mean, you want to put it to where his friends are likely to find it. I mean, and obviously the skate park, but that's too obvious. Where else could you put that tree where his friends are likely to bump into it? There have been a few comments in the actual news article, which is courtesy of the Kenosha County Eye. You really need to subscribe to the Kenosha County Eye. Seriously, he's got some great content that comes in my email. And uh, with Kenosha, there's never a dull moment. If you haven't seen a murder in a few days, eh, just wait around a little while. But at any rate, there have been some comments about uh, potentially vandalizing the Anthony Huber Memorial. Uh, no fun and games here. That's illegal. It's wrong. The uh, Parks Committee people that were voted in here were voted in through a democratic system, and they do represent the will of the people. If they do go ahead and vote this thing in, it's the city's property, and the people who like Anthony Huber, who want a memorial for him, have a right to free speech just as much as you do. So the whole idea of vandalizing a memorial like that is repugnant. Uh, don't do it. Okay, that's enough of that. And I'm being serious. Don't. Criminal. Only criminals vandalize. So uh, like my video, subscribe to my channel, and tell me what you think of Anthony Huber's new memorial.